There are some more frogs here today with us little mathematicians. There are some frogs in this 10 frame and there are some frogs on a rock. How many frogs are in the 10 frame? Hold your fingers up. He said four, you're right. Did you know this because you could see two on top and two on the bottom? Or maybe sets of two side by side? You're supertizing. You knew instantly it was four. How many frogs are on the rock? If you said two, you're right. How many more frogs would I need in the tens frame to fill it up? How can you solve that problem? There are six empty spaces. I also know that four and six makes ten, or six and four make ten. So there are six more frogs needed to fill this tens frame up. My next question, how many frogs would there be if these two frogs on the rock jumped into the tens frame? How many would there be then? Hmm. Well, I already have four in the tens frame and there are two frogs outside of the tens frame. But if they jumped into the tens frame, there'd be two more in there. So I already have four and then two more. That'd be six. Did you get it? Six frogs would be in the tens frame if these two jumped in and joined their four friends. Frogs has been a bit of a theme with us today. I have one more activity for you to do today to practice your work with numbers. This activity is called One Less and One More Little Mathematicians and there are some lily pads on this activity. They have numbers inside of them but we're working on the skill of one less and one more. For this version of the game, I need two dice. So I have my two dice here and I need to cover up these lily pads as I work through the game. So I'm using counters that look like this. Today, you're going to roll two dice and find out what that total is. Let's take a look. I've rolled three and three. Together, if I combine these two numbers, three and three, I get six. Now I'm not covering up six today, I'm covering up one less and one more of six. So if I'm at number six, what is one less? One less than six is five. So I'm going to cover up a number five. What's one more than six? Seven. So I get to cover up a number seven as well. Now I get another turn. I'm going to roll my two dice. I've rolled four and five. Well, I know five and five makes 10. So four and five must be one less than 10. This makes nine. Four and five combine together to make nine. Now remember, I'm not covering up nine. I'm covering up one less and one more. What's one less than nine? If I'm at number nine and I drop back one place, I get to eight. Here's a number eight, so I'm going to cover it up. What's one more than nine? If I'm at number nine and I increase by one, I get to number 10. Here's a 10, I'm going to cover it up. Little mathematicians, you keep playing like this until you have all of your lily pads covered up or as many lily pads as you can cover up in the time that you're allowed to play the game. You could also play with another player. You could use counters in a different color and at the end of the game, or at the end of the playing time, see who covered up the most lily pads. We're working on numbers one less and one more. This version was using two dice. You might use another version where there's only one die, or three dice. Have a go of playing one less and one more.